You've heard of NVIDIA's GPUs ruling the AI world, but what if I told you Google's secret weapon, the TPU, is quietly stealing the spotlight? Yeah, the chip everyone forgot about is suddenly winning, across the board. Ten years ago, when Google first launched the Tensor Processing Unit, people laughed it off. Cute, they said, but NVIDIA already owns AI. Fast forward to now. And suddenly, everyone from safe superintelligence to Salesforce to Midjourney is running on Google's hardware. Why? Because Google finally nailed what everyone in AI wants. Speed, scale, and savings. All in one box. So here's what changed. Google's now on its seventh generation of TPUS. And these things are monsters. They've tightened their compilers to squeeze every bit of performance. They've cut runtime costs dramatically. And they finally built the infrastructure to let any company train or run large models without drowning in compute bills. Think of it this way. Instead of renting out a Ferrari, that's your NVIDIA GPU, Google's offering a fleet of self-driving Teslas, cheaper, faster for long hauls, and tuned for one mission, AI at scale. The newest TPU version, Ironwood, is all about inference. That's the stage where models stop learning and start thinking, answering your questions, generating images, or running chatbots. Ironwood chips are liquid-cooled because they get ridiculously hot while handling massive throughput. Google ships them in 256 chip pods for mid-scale inference and 9,216 chip superpods for the big leagues. Think of entire cities of chips humming in sync. It's like Google turned data centers into neural jungles, dense, fast, and alive. You'd think this means Google's cutting NVIDIA out entirely, right? Nope. Google still buys tons of NVIDIA GPUs. Why? Because NVIDIA is still unbeatable in one area. Flexibility. Teams that experiment with custom operations, changing kernels or mixed workloads still need that freedom. So while Google's TPUS are incredible for efficiency and scaling stable workloads, NVIDIA still owns the creative playground. It's like TPUS or the high-speed train, perfect for mass transit, but GPUS are the motorcycles zipping through the back roads. Now, here's the real problem Google faces. For years, developers have been trained on CUDA, NVIDIA's ecosystem. It's like muscle memory at this point. Google's TPU ecosystem, it runs on XLA and JAX, which are powerful but different. That means convincing AI startups and researchers to switch feels a bit like asking an iPhone user to move to Android. The specs might be better, but habits die hard. To fix that, Google's been quietly making deals. They've onboarded Safe Superintelligence, Salesforce, and even Midjourney, names big enough to make others say, wait, maybe I should try this too. And when those teams show massive cost savings and smoother scaling, the floodgates could open. This isn't just about chips. It's about who controls the next generation of AI infrastructure. If NVIDIA's GPUs were the fuel for the last AI boom, Google's TPUS might power the next one, a boom focused not just on performance, but sustainability and economics. Think about it. Every major AI lab is fighting rising compute costs, so whoever can make AI cheaper to run wins the decade. And right now, Google's the only player combining its cloud dominance, data centers, and chip design into a seamless stack. That's something even NVIDIA can't fully replicate. It took Google nearly a decade to find the sweet spot of AI demand. But now, with 7th gen TPUs, open source frameworks, and a pricing model that finally makes sense, it's ready for a comeback. The question is, will the industry finally trust Google's hardware? Or will they keep paying the NVIDIA tax just for comfort? Subscribe for more such videos and click on bell icon to get updated.